Now, Joyce, what about those exciting domestic minivans? Well, we've been certainly hearing a lot about them over the past year. And finally, come January 84, we're going to see them in the showrooms. Because that's when Chrysler will beat the big two to the market with their Dodge Caravan and Plymouth Voyager. Now, they're neat, aerodynamic designs with front-wheel drive, and they're only 175 inches overall. That makes them four inches shorter than a LeBaron station wagon. Now, these minivans have a car-like unibody construction with no frame, and the interior is a lot like a car. Now, Chrysler is planning to give you a choice in seating arrangements. You can either get a standard five-seat setup or space for seven. Now, under the hood, you'll have a choice of a Chrysler-built 2.2-liter or the Mitsubishi Silent Shaft 2.6-liter. As for the competition, both Ford and Chevrolet are more like the traditional vans with a truck frame, and they're both rear-wheel drive. Now, Chevrolet is coming out with their M-Van, that's for Midi, in late 1984. Now, the M-Van has a low, rounded nose. It looks a lot like a Mercedes truck. And the M-Van will have a standard 2.5-liter four-cylinder, though the optional V6s will probably be available. The M-Van is a little bigger than the Chrysler version. It's higher, and it's longer, and it's wider. And reportedly, it weighs 200 pounds less. Our last little piggy to market is going to be the Ford VN7. They're probably going to call that the Arrow Star, and it's going to hit the streets in late 1984. Now, Ford has been disguising the test mule of their rear-drive minivan, but it looks like it's going to look a lot like the Chevy, but we are going to get rid of that bulbous nose. Now, speculation is that Ford is going to use the 2.3-liter pushrod engine. That's the one that's found in the Tempo Topaz, with two other engines as options. There'll be a 2.8-liter V6 and a 2-liter diesel made by Mazda. Now, of course, the big news about all these vans is how small they are. Mm -hmm. They're calling them garageable, and they're all getting 25 to 30 miles per gallon. Oh, and by the way, it appears that Ford and Chevy, now they're going to go after the commercial market, mm -hmm. but not so for Chrysler. I think they're going after the family market. I really think that they would like to replace all the full-size station wagons with these minivans. Yeah, it certainly looks like a definite possibility. Thanks, Joyce. Yeah. Now, while Joyce has been keeping...